Let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, Romans 12 verse 9. If we hate that which is evil, we will love that which is good. The two go together hand in hand. You cannot love God and love Satan. You cannot love God's law and also love the paths of unrighteousness. At least, your heart of hearts and your new nature from the new birth will seek what is truly good. The old nature will seek sin. But the Christian must subdue and overcome it. John 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus has been around God since the beginning of time and creation. He even knew his fate on the cross. When Jesus came to earth, he was able to speak God's words to the world whereas this was impossible before. Through Christ's journey to the world, we have been gifted with God's holy word and eternal hope. Devotion topic is, all believers, great and small, play their part. I have traveled extensively and always like to visit cathedrals and churches. These palaces of worship humble me making me realize how many people have come and gone, praising the Lord in these magnificent structures. It can be intimidating. In weaker moments, I may compare myself to the Pope or other Christian leaders and think that I am not good enough. As these verses give proof of, all followers have a spiritual journey, no matter how big or small. The men mentioned in these passages, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, were both not the strictest adherents to Jesus while he was still alive. Other disciples and followers would seem like more likely candidates to ask for Christ's body, but these two came to him after his death. In trying to ensure Jesus had a proper burial, they both made themselves unclean for Passover, but nevertheless became converts in Christ, even from beyond the cross were these men so moved that they came to Jesus. Let this be a lesson, it is never too late to become a believer. We are all on the same spiritual journey to eternal life. Don't be intimidated, don't despair. Have faith that God will show you the way. Prayer, Lord my guide, let us all who hear the name of Jesus be drawn towards your accepting light and embrace. I ask all this, so that I may see your paradise swell, and hear all the clearer your name rejoiced, Jesus Christ and Lord Almighty up on high, I will praise your name now and forever. Amen.